Hello to people of YouTube. Um, it's your boy Duke, Oscar Daddy, Derek Poppy, Jameson Poppy. Uh, we just shot another great episode. Shout out to the guests. It was a fun one. Um, what we're doing is we're doing something different. All right. So I decided to cut up the episode into a few clips. And instead of putting it out in individual videos, I'm actually going to have them be put into one video. Right. So I'm going to drop these every I guess every episode, really, uh, the week after it, it's going to be available on YouTube, and it'll give people the chance to see exactly what the episode was about, and also go back to the longer form content and enjoy that as well. So please do enjoy the clips in this video, and again, don't forget to subscribe. All right, man, I'm just here so I don't get fined, bro. Say your name. Gabby. Dirk Poppy. My name's Erica. Oscar Daddy. And I also go by Rick by some people. Young Denzel, come on. What do you think you're walking into tonight? Um, I honestly don't fully know. As a team captain, I already know what I'm walking into. I'm gonna set some plays. Tequila. More of a panel discussion. I mean, be the QB, be the, the PG, whatever you need me to be, you know? And I, I do know I'm gonna be talking about toxic masculinity, so I have a lot of counterpoints for, for both sides, pretty much. Tequila. <sighs> What do you want the public to expect from you tonight? What do I want them to expect? They know what to expect. Vibes and controversial topics. Next question. What kind of stupid question? Next question, fam. Good vibes. Only. Strictly. Um, I think really I want people to expect um, education behind the topics, but also give me leeway because I do have a lot of probably contradictory points. Just vibes, shots, and... And I'm a really big music fan, so... Tequila. I think that that probably makes me a bit more educated on the music topics. <sighs> um, but yeah, no, I, I really just think that conclusion that it's really just... Like, Vida is not for the guy, you know? As men, do you really it's care about Vida? It's supposed to be. Is it? Yeah. But the girl should make it also about the guy. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. But nah, I, I never had any uh, any V days that were super duper crazy. Super duper crazy. I'm trying to think really. I don't want to sound crazy saying something wrong, but I don't remember any super duper memorable ones. And then somebody that did a memorable one is watching this. Literally, like, wow. that's what I'm afraid of. Like, oh, I fucking did this. You forgot. <laughs> like, eh, it happens. Uh, what'd you guys do for V day? Work. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You working in Panama too? <laughs> <laughs> London, well, what about you? I went to Ari's dinner with someone lovely. You know, it was her birthday too. I like that. I like Aww. that. See? Happy birthday. Yeah, and, um, it was a vibe, bro. Mm. Vibe, gifts, flowers, candles, wow. vibes. Wow. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, affection, love. This is affection, yeah. love, he said. Very <laughs> and that's a double celebration Valentine's Day and birthday. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you get two gifts? I did a lot, so I did a lot. <laughs> we didn't answer the question, though. Did she get two gifts? Yeah, she got more than two gifts. Oh, period. What? Yeah. First of all, don't do that. First of all, don't do that because when I was in a relationship, no, 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 because when I was in a relationship, I was in the running for the best boyfriend of all time, and then you were saying, oh, simp, you're simping. You're a, you're a simp. Interesting. Okay, okay yeah, of course. That's all, that's all you have to say. Interesting. Interesting. Pull up that clip. <laughs> no, I definitely will. I'm going to drop it in right now, bro. Are you crazy? I had this question kind of pop in my head when I was having a conversation with my sister because we like to have these kind of debates and just, you know, conversations about things. Um, do you guys think exclusivity is implied or should be discussed? Well, your face says a lot. Discussed. Discuss. Well, you can't just assume you're with somebody. But I do think that um, it's rare to find women that say, yeah, yeah, we do. We do help that a little bit in terms of like the homophobia. A lot of times whenever I have these conversations with my female friends, they say, well, that's the patriarchy and you built it. It's I'm like that's I, an, it's. I don't think they're saying they don't like women don't do it at all. I think they're more saying like that's not the point. Like the point of the conversation is not to turn it back on blaming women. Mm, okay, but I think. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't think. <laughs> don't think. Listen, I'm not the one to push back on that. I think that there's some things that are important, and and I think, like, obviously male and female are different, and there and there's you know what I mean. Like, that's that's given. I think some sections of society are trying to change that completely and just say like yo like there's there's absolutely no difference and that's where i'm like i understand what you're trying to do however you can do that in your life that's cool mm -hmm. but pushing that for the masses is kind of that's where it gets a little bit shaky you know mm -hmm. there's no there's no question there i'm just saying shit at this point <laughs> <laughs>
But um, no, but back to the uh, the the war on 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 masculinity thing. I have a lot of thoughts on that, but I just feel like I still need to take some time to really. You want to share some? I, uh, what have you been reflecting on? We can we can <laughs> tell us talk about this. I think I think women like men. You know what I mean? I think that like. Um, some women will be hypocritical and say like, yo, I want this or I want that. But it's like, you'll never date the guy you're trying to build. Yeah. You know, it's and it's like, true. so So what are you trying That's to do? That's another right? topic. Yeah, exactly. Men, women love toxic men. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. what they like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's know. like, you're, you're out like here. The nice guy. Yeah. You're out here trying to build this, this perfect person. And then you go and say, there's no men anymore. It's like, yeah. Why do you think that is? <laughs> it's like, they're all trying to be what it is that you want them to be. And then, you know, but then again, to that point too, of like, they like toxic men. A healthy level of toxicity is kind of healthy. Okay, it's just like don't cheat. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, yeah. There's some That's things like you know, boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So cheating is unforgivable for both parties here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a simple yeah. question. Cheating is unforgivable. What do you, what do you, for what me. do you consider cheating? <laughs> we know what cheating is. Uh, for me, I'm very honest about my friendships. Like I don't call just anyone my friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like whenever I'm dating someone, I'm on. I, I extend that honesty to them too. I say, yo. How do you actually know this person? They're actually your friend, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Like, I have people like that in my life, too. They're not my friend. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I think that, that honesty is important. And it, it, it breaks a lot of women's hearts where it's like, what do you mean? Are what you friends you, with exes? What do you mean? We'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> like, what do you, like, what do you mean he's not my friend? I'm like, nah, that guy would fuck you in a heartbeat. And, mm-hmm. like, you, you've fucking met him in an elevator or some shit. You know what I mean? It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> he's friends there. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he just complimented my shoes or something. Like, what? Like, that's not like fucking... my shoes. You know, it's just, it's, it's some weird shit like that. But, and my friends with exes, I'm not, not friends with them. I think my recent ex right now is too fresh. So, it's like, we, we need some time, a lot of mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. But, um, I'm a big believer that once you break up, you gotta cut communication. So you guys would never do a relationship? Well, I don't know. No. I can't do it. I, I just can't you. answer now. <laughs> I, I just, I, I can't. I'm not trying to swing my... people because now I'm not doing open relationships. So <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, I just couldn't do it, man. It's just, bro. I don't know. Nah, I don't want to fight. What do you mean? <laughs> she just said it's to avoid fights. What? It's gonna increase fights in my head. Like, oh, for you. Oh, I, for but you. I, then I wouldn't get past day one. Like, if she comes to me like this type of relationship, I'm like, oh, you think I'm pussy? You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> what about what about what about if, um, <clears throat> like you were seeing a girl and she was sleeping with other women? Yeah, would you be mad? Ah, uh, because like my ex was my, <laughs> my ex was a girl. Yeah. So that probably like I don't know if that was different for some people or like. But- I feel like that always works out so much better because I feel like women understand each other a lot, a more. lot more. For than sure, me. for sure. And even my logic with that is like, um, when it comes to another woman, it's just something that I just can't offer. You know, it's just a, it's just a mm. different energy and a different vibe that it's like, no matter how much you quote unquote improve yourself, whatever, that's just, mm. you want something completely different. True. If it's another man, it's like, yo, what? Like, mm-hmm. bro, what? This is crazy, you know? See, yeah. a lot of guys would not admit what like you're saying really? a lot of guys would be like oh i wouldn't care <laughs> i like I so many all of my guy friends like well not all of them but like a lot of guys that i've like had conversations like this with mm-hmm. they're like always like, yeah i wouldn't care blah 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 but like then it comes down to it and they're like oh my god wait for she, a guy or for a girl because oh, they guy. don't want to seem oh, like her. they're like yeah because they don't want to seem like they would care yeah. that could never be me imagine trying to pretend to be cool you're getting cooked that's crazy <laughs> Like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Oh, and getting, and getting cooked. Yeah, so, oh, That's I, the I line even, of the, the I year. I don't even care, man. I don't even care. You're crying and shit. Like, no, I'm never, never. I'm not gonna bite my tongue for that. You know what's so crazy? That's one of like my biggest fears. Every time I host, yeah. like if guys come and buy bottles, my biggest fear is that they're gonna assume they're gonna get something like. Oof. Like yeah, man. Like it's it's really especially it's something. like a section. It's like ten yeah. guys or something. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna teach my my daughter judo. <laughs> as soon as she can, <laughs> judo, not karate. Not Muay Thai judo, fam, because you don't. You can be any size. You can take down anyone. So, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yo, immediately, because fucking, yo, I keep telling women this, yo, don't trust men, bro. Like, period. Listen, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> be in a close environment with a man. Like, yo, listen, drunk man, especially, bro, what? A penis is a gun, fam. Okay, that, <laughs> what? A penis is That's a gun. A crazy <laughs> comparison. <laughs> it's a fact, though. Yo, it's a fact. Though. That's a weapon, fam. Like, so you know. Take it as, as as you want to take that, but listen, live by what? that if you want to as well. <laughs> Wait, that was crazy. <laughs> it's a fact. It's dangerous, bro. Men are dangerous, man. Like, they use those guns against other men sometimes too in prison. 
Oh, okay. Anyway, guys. You see what I mean? Like, yo, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo. Cheers to open it up. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Ah, lovely. All right, so for Shilly, I have uh, quite a few. Oh. <clears throat> These are all sent by the uh, the anonymous, you know what I mean? Actually, I want to expose who the fuck it is. You guys be very surprised uh, by who it is. But he comes up with these crazy questions. I don't know from where. Not yet. I don't know if he wants me to. Oh, you know, I'll just say it. I'll just <laughs> <laughs> right. You would never expect him to do that. I would bleep it. But that <laughs> is what sends these in. So uh, let's see. Hmm. I'll do the first one here. So, would you rather scream your ex's name during sex or have your partner scream their mom's name? What? Exes. Ex. Wait, 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 hold on. I even forgot the question too, and I'm reading it. Would you, <laughs> rather, would you rather scream your ex's name during sex or have your partner scream their mom's name? Exes. Their ex's name, but I would definitely break up with them. Wait, no, you're screaming your ex's name. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Then, yeah, still. My ex, bad. But- you're still you're gonna scream your ex's name over somebody screaming their mom's name? Yeah. <laughs> yo, you're looking for problems, yo. I think I would but break up with someone they... if they scream their mom's name. Really? Like, why are you screaming? Yeah, well, like, why? Why is that so uncomfortable <laughs> for you to say? Like, I guess. Well, okay, okay. You know what? In my case, I guess it would be dad for for men. Because <laughs> okay, I'm saying mom. Okay, mm. that's fucking weird, but whatever. But if it's dad, it's like whoa. Yeah, because you're like whoa. Like, what the fuck? It's I don't like, want to know what happened. Like that. Uh, that's... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oof, they make me really think about this shit. Like, fuck. Wait, we have to pick one? Yeah, you have to. Is there another question? Nope. Hey, actually, there's a bunch still, but we're going to say this for the other. You things. said X. You said X? Oof. I, I would s- never. <laughs> that's not an option, bro. <laughs> this thing is that I would never. Like, it's an option. Oh, man. Oh. Uh. Which one were I picking? So it's mom. Ooh. Wait, do they say no, the, wait, do they say their name? They say their mom's like name. Like Yo, the, like the whole Guffy, first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dude, long. That's, yeah. That's <laughs> that's, that's crazy to yell the that's, first and last name. Nasty. Wait, first and last name of X too? No, no. Well, I mean, that'd be kind of crazy. That'd be insane. <laughs> I'm picking Yeah, I'll do the X. I'll take the fight. I'll take the fight. I don't want to know about that kind of trauma. Like, that's What do fucked. you mean trauma? Well, oh, like, well, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm um, sticking around for that, yo. I'm out. You're still deciding? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, keep going. Keep thinking. It feels to me it's like a no-brainer, dog. Like, okay, I say X, actually. Because are you like, sure to be peer pressure in that? Or like, are you actually... No, I think X, because, okay. like... Parents kind of crazy. Kind of crazy? Like, that's... Because, like, an ex is more like you can... I guess not validate it more, but it makes more Yeah, exactly. Sense. I would never forget if someone said their mom's name. Like, that yeah, would, like I would well, never forget that. How would you react? Let's put you in the room. How do you react in that moment? Stop immediately. Get up. I would leave. I'd be like, get up. Just get like, up. Like, like, I gotta go. Like, what, you just don't say anything and leave the room? Like, how does that go? Just probably stand there stunned, like... Oof. Yeah, no, I'd... I'd immediately soft, immediately, and then just be like, "Fuck, bro, I gotta go." <laughs> like, it's like with such sincerity in my voice, like I have to go, and you're never gonna see me again. It really is one of those like shit. You just ruined this, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's just it's fucking sad, bro. Their mom's name, like, full name, first and last name. That's, That's not initial. Last name. But who even fucking? I mean, listen, who even yells names like that, fam? Rich yelling names, are you not? London? I can yell the name, no problem. Why, why are you <laughs> <laughs> We love the confidence. I know, that's, I mean, shout out to you yeah, for opening up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, I'm definitely not doing that. Do you yell names? No, absolutely not. Like, what? Nah, I'm not yelling names, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay alive. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Because you, all your strength you, is leaving you your body. Mix, do you mix up? Of course, yo, you make noise. You can't be the silent nutter is crazy. <laughs> silent nutter, like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> So what did you think about your performance on the pod? I think I killed it. I think I did an amazing job. Star performance. Come on, man. This is what I do, man. Triple-double. No assists. 
Come on, man. This is what I do, bro. This is just that's, that's, oh. <laughs> Cut me off. That's crazy. And is there anything you regret about seeing on the pod or something you take back? Um, no. I regret showing how much of a Yeet fan I am because I definitely feel like it got held against me and it's going to be a reoccurring topic. Anything I regret? Uh, yes, man. They almost got me, man. I'm not going to lie on the, the women topic. Guilty. <laughs> the distance between you and the mic was apparent. Are you allergic to the microphone? Yes. That's a why question to go on. Next question, bro. Yeah. I'm not allergic to cameras, though. There was no distance. You just couldn't see. <laughs> What was your favorite topic discussed on the pod? Eat. That men are trash. Guilty. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who would you want to see on the podcast? Like anywhere, anyone in the world? Anywhere? Like any person? Uh. Um. I would love to see. Eat. Uh. Lil Yachty. Uh. Um. Cranky Cranky. <laughs> Uh, Yeet for sure, Kali Uchis for sure, uh, Meg Thee Stallion, Don Tolliver. On the party you said you were a coochie, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> <laughs>